everybody, it's me again, Miss Laura, and it is time for our story time craft. And today we are making little toy soldiers or nutcrackers. So if you come by the library, I have your little craft packs made and set up and ready. And inside, you are gonna find a paintbrush. You're gonna find some little tubs of paint. There will be three colors in there. And I wanna stress, it's really important that any paint that you don't use, you hang on to for next week's craft, okay? Cause you're gonna need it. So you'll have some tubs of paint, your paintbrush, and then inside of a baggie, you are gonna have some glue dots. There's gonna be two in there. You will have some pom-poms and two clothespins. All right, so let's get started. Now, I have already um, laid out my paint, okay? So, but you can use your paint directly out of the tub. And like I said, when you're done with it, make sure you get that lid on nice and tight because you'll need it next week. All right, so the first thing, there's our little model of what we're gonna be making. The first thing I did was paint his pants on. And you can make them whatever color you want. You can paint the whole thing black. You can paint them all red. I don't care. It's your little fella. You make them however you want. And I gave you two because I thought you might enjoy making them play and talk to each other and stuff. So I'm going to use the black. And the nice thing about wood is this dries fairly quickly. And I'm going to paint one pants leg here. Doo -doo -doo. I love painting. It makes me happy. I hope it makes you happy too. Whenever I do these, I think of either England with the big, uh, the guards that have their big hats on. It reminds me of that. And it also reminds me of the Nutcracker. It's a ballet about a little girl who fell asleep in her tree and went into this magical land. I think there was even a movie called Barbie and the Nutcracker and it followed that, but it's really pretty. I'm sure you've heard it somewhere along the way. There we go. So now this guy is a little messy because I am painting quickly, but I want you, when you do it, to have fun and take your time and just enjoy this little craft because these are really fun, something that you can have as a keepsake or you can give it as a gift. So there we have it, and as you see, it's drying nicely. I painted all around them, and I wanted to go ahead and paint the inside of his feet. See how it's wooden? I don't like that. So I'm going to paint the inside of his feet a little bit. There we go. And it might be good when you go to do this to have, I always have, anytime I'm doing paper or a piece of new pa newspaper or scrap paper down so I don't get it on the table, I still, to this day, my children are white adults now and I still will fuss at them about painting and not having something down on my table. So make your mommies happy, daddies, grandmas, who are babysitters and put something down on the table. So we don't want paint on our pretty tables. There we go. Doo -doo. So I'm just kind of getting in there a little bit. And it's okay, like I can still see wood in there, but I'm just kind of getting the visible parts. So there we go. Now our little toy soldier nutcracker has pants on. Now, the next thing, and you will need probably some water if you want to, to change out if you don't have um, different brushes like what I'm using. Um, you'll want some water to clean off your brush in between each set, okay? Um, I have, of course, multiple paint brushes that I'm using. So the next part is I'm gonna paint his shirt. So I'm going to paint it red. And I like to start from the neck. Those paint brushes that I gave you were perfect to line up at the neck. And I just paint down real nice and steady. 
and you just go all the way around. And again, if you want to make your little guy all red, that's okay. You can make him however you want. Just have fun with it. You can give him hair if you want to. Do, do, do. You could give him little cheeks, paint red cheeks. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but right there it's spread a little bit, the black dick, because it was still wet. You can either let it completely dry in between each coating or just go back over it. But um, these clothespins do a really nice job of absorbing that. Do, do, do. You can even name your nutcrackers. You'll have to tell me if you could decide to name them. What would you name them? There we go. All right, I think that's good enough. So, the next thing I did with mine is I decide where the front's gonna be. So, I think I will make this side the front. And I'm working upside down as usual. I'm gonna do a little touch up right here. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to use my white and I'm gonna put this little little hash mark on there. It could be just one way, it's a belt. You don't have to put it on there if you don't want to. You can use it to put little stripes down his pants. Um, whatever you wanna do. So I just make like an X to go down. And I know when I did it with him, I had to go over that a little bit. And I'm probably going to end up with some pink because my red's not all the way dry here. And there we go. So he's kind of coming along there. He's starting to look like a little soldier. And I'm just touching it up a some. That's good enough. And then I'm going to make him a nice little belt. And because the white is so lightly colored, you might have to go over it a few times. And for his belt, I actually take it around all around his pants. Because it wouldn't keep your pants up if you only had a belt just in the front, would it? You can make suspenders. You can make buttons. Just whatever you want to do with it. If you have other color paints, you can add to it. And I mentioned a minute ago about doing like little stripes on his pants. So I think this one I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to put a white line in my hand shaking. There you go. Doesn't that look smart? There we go. And I'll do one on the other side. My hand shaking. There you go. Look how handsome he looks, or she. And then we cannot have a little soldier without a face. So I'm gonna get just a little bit of black on there. And I'm gonna put in a dot for the eyes and a little mouth. He's a happy little soldier. And I think I'm going to even give him cheeks. Because why not? I don't like to make my soldiers the same. There we go. <laughs> now he looks like a little toy soldier for sure. There we go. All right. So the last step, make sure your paint's all good and dry. The last step that we're going to do is we're going to affix his hat. So with the pom-poms and your uh, glue dot, which I have my big roll with me, but you have two little glue dots like I showed you. Let me find the beginning of mine. You're gonna take your glue dot, just one, leave it on one portion of the paper, and you're gonna stick it to the top of his head. Boop. And it will kind of roll right off. I'm trying to not get my hands wet. It's best to do this after your little paint guy dries. Peel it off. 
Glue and me just don't get along <laughs> at all. Okay, so there we go. He's got a nice sticky head. You take your pom-pom, boop, right on top. And there you go. Like I said, let it dry though before you do that pom-pom. And now you got two little soldiers or nutcrackers and they can hang out and visit and talk. Or you can give them to somebody for a gift or stick them on your Christmas tree, whatever you want. But there you go. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.